I get nervous to the point where I'm like frozen and it feels like I can't move or do anything like it feels paralyzing filming let's do some filming wow that's a lot there was exams there was prom next week is grad so that's gonna be my next reading vlog everyone welcome to the vlog it is monday so for this week's vlog basically plans today i think i'm just gonna have a rest day at home because i want to get some editing done and then just some like introvert time you know so i'm gonna try to stay off my phone as much as i can because i'm really bad at that and i'm just looking at my plan for the week so tomorrow i have a doctor's appointment graduations on wednesday and then at thursday i have to go up to the university that i'm supposed to go to and do a bunch of things there and then friday saturday sunday i don't know because i should have planned more for the summer but i've been too stressed about other things and i said i'd plan after and now i'm like what do i what what, what am i gonna do <laughs> but there'll be more videos coming for you guys a lot more recently there's going to be a lot more uploads happening you've probably noticed that i've been uploading more than like typically um but yeah right now i'm just importing the footage from my last vlog right here and i've been doing some planning with stickers i wrote in my notebook and as you saw in the clip before i did a little tarot reading so yeah So I updated really late last night, like at midnight, so technically today, that just a little reaction because I finished Dear White by uh, Kimberly Bell. So Kim, this one, this book that I've been reading, um, I had to post a photo of it for like this thing with Harper. So like, I was like, I have to read it. Like, am I okay? Like, why am I falling so behind? So I managed to finish this right before it came out, like, but barely. This is a uh, thriller and I thought I knew the plot twist from like the synopsis. I thought I knew the plot twist. So the entire book I was like, <laughs> like I know what's gonna happen, but like I was hoping I would be wrong and it would surprise me, which it did. So I'm really happy about that. It did surprise me and I really liked it. Like it's really addicting. The writing's really straightforward, but really good. I like how they do the multiple perspectives. I think that was well done. Um, I think the characters were well done. There's topics of like abuse and stuff in this book. So just be aware of that. Also like women's shelters, churches, stuff like that um, are in this book. Honestly, I think I'm gonna give it like a 3.75 or something. I would still have to write my Goodreads review. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm giving it. I liked it. I'm really glad I read it. So I'm currently on one of my other computers and editing my reading vlog from last week. Yes, today we have some things to do so we're gonna show you the to-do list in habitica so we have things to do we got my appointment at three i want to write my goodreads review for this start a new book finish editing this vlog create the thumbnail for this video upload this video and pick up some vegan groceries because i've been needing more food we have all that to do and then of course my usual dailies my tidy get ready make bed blah 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 blah. so we have to do all that and yeah i don't want to die on habitica because my health is getting low because i've been not journaling every day so we gotta be productive so i don't die and lose all my pets that's how you stay motivated kids we're talking about videos i just watched the reading rush challenge video um, i was just watching chelsea's vlog too for her swim marathon so it's been a good time i don't know what i'm reading next i'll update you guys on that later so it is about 2 p.m today um i was just video chatting with people from one of my twitter group chats and yeah so that was really fun and now i'm actually premiering a vlog at the moment so i got it up got it ready promoted it like by promote i mean like talked about it on twitter and patreon and like all those other things i managed to get this video all edited filmed not filmed edited the thumbnail done and uploaded now it's premiering we're good so that's really exciting thank you to everyone who shows up to my premieres i really appreciate it i don't put them up in advance like i'm not like oh the premiere is gonna be in two hours i'm like the premiere is gonna be in five minutes so like i understand why a lot of people don't show up 
like I understand why a lot of people can't like show up because like I can I barely watch people's premieres because like they'll be at random times and like I'm busy but I try to go to them when I can um, and if it's a creator I really like then I'll watch their premieres but so that's happening and I got ready for the day kind of I have to leave for my appointment soon but I think I'm going to be starting I wish you all the best by Mason Deaver I think I'm going to be starting this and we'll see how this goes so we're about ready to go to my grad I didn't update yesterday but I'll update you what I'm currently reading later. I'm not really excited. I had the brunch thing and I was wearing something different. Go, go, go to this thing. So, fun. Let's like put the gown on, get going. I'm not gonna really take clips there because I just wanna get it over with and then bye, so. <laughs> Hi guys, so it has been a while. It is currently July 3rd and yeah so it's been a bit i was really debating whether or not to scrap my previous footage but i think i'm going to include it just gonna have some memories of grad and some of my thoughts on some books so i'm gonna include that but i'm going to be having like i'll give you guys an update on what i'm currently re like what i've read since we last talked and then i'm gonna do another reading vlog and yeah so i hope there's enough content in this one if there's not then i'll like vlog a few more days and add it in but yes um, so I've been reading quite a bit. Um, I'm really happy about how much I've been reading. I'm like so happy about it. Just filming some videos. So I just filmed one actually because my camera battery started dying. Like what the hell? Put it somewhere where it's not gonna fall. This is horrible angle. Whatever. Okay. So for the last few things that I've read, I Wish You All the Best by Mason Deaver. I absolutely loved this book. I think at times it did lack in certain areas. It was a bit bland at times and it could have had a bit more substance. But the overall message of this story was absolutely stunning. The characters I loved and overall I was just so, so happy that I got to read this. My mom got this for me for my grad, like for... I think my graduation or, or like gift or like my exam gift or something like she just got me, got it for me because I couldn't buy it and I really wanted to read it and own it and support the author so so happy I picked it up I really liked it it's definitely worth the read if you guys are interested there is some trigger warnings for like homophobia and stuff like that in this book the main character identifies as non-binary so that's a perspective that we don't see a lot in YA which is so great to see I'm so happy about it because my one of my best friends is non-binary so seeing this was amazing and meant a lot to me even though I don't specifically identify with it but yes I love that I gave it four stars and then I'm currently reading a book oh, let's go get it together I'm currently reading it's called twice in a blue moon and it's by Christina Lauren I okay I've read, like ranted to people about this book so many times now. Let's do this. Okay. So I've ranted to people about this book so many times since I picked it up. I am almost done. Like, I have a little bit left. I'm on page two, about 290, and then, so I have about 60 pages left. I'm almost done. Um, this book is basically about, this is coming out in... October. We follow this one girl named Tate and it's like 14 years ago like 14 years ago and then 14 years later so we follow this first little time span where it's when Tate met this guy named Sam and they had kind of a summer fling but you know the feelings were so strong blah 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 um and then due to a circumstance I can't say because it's a spoiler things didn't work out and there was a big issue so they hadn't spoken in 14 years or seen each other in 14 years then we follow 14 years later when Tate is an actress and she has to work with Sam on the set of a movie that her dad wrote. So the like there is like famous people in this book and like actors and actresses and blah blah blah. I know a lot of people don't like books about famous people, including myself. It kind of drives me nuts. But yeah, I am not liking this book. I've raved about it so much. I'm ranted, not raved, about it so much to certain people. This is my first Christina Lauren. I'm so sad it's gotten so much it's gotten better but the description in this book like the descriptions in this book drive me absolutely insane I can't quote them word for word because this is like an arc and like those could change but things like long fingers were used to describe someone and this is like the first 20 pages so this is not related to sex scenes or anything like that like he was described as wide as a road 
what like i literally cried when i saw that i was like what he was wide as a road and the descriptions are so bad like his long fingers grasped the water and i'm like like it's so i have so many tabs but they're not for good things like these pink ones are bad things and then like things that i didn't like and then the green ones are just like plot but holy shit and he's also described oh my god he's like eight feet tall and like at one point they use like a white person to like contrast the, one of the characters and be like oh like you're white oh i'm black like as like a contrast thing and they tried to like they basically just talked about how white a character was just to like basically say this character's black and like have that presented to you and i'm like couldn't she describe that another way that the character is black? Whatever. Yeah, it's um a rough time. I have 60 pages left. I'll probably finish it today, I hope, or tomorrow. But yeah, it's um a time. Don't really like it, but yeah. I'm really disappointed because I've heard so many great things about Christina Lauren. And this is kind of awful. And I know these are like new adult romances. But sis, the smut isn't even good in this one. Like what? I don't know. Maybe I'm being too judgmental. I probably will have to read more of her stuff. I do want to read autobi autobiography. I heard that's really good. But yeah, I have to read more of their stuff. So yeah, but not enjoying this. Hey guys, so it is the next day. I just wanted to give you a reading update. So I finished Twice in a Blue Moon last night. Wow, I look so dead. Well, ignore that. I finished Twice in a Blue Moon last night. Um, I think I'm moving it like 1.5 stars. I really didn't like it for a lot of reasons and then I think I'm going to read a poetry collection next and that will be the start of a new vlog. So thank you guys so so much for watching this one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Comment a sunflower if you made it to the end. As always all my links are in the description box including my Goodreads, Twitter, Instagram as well as my Patreon if you want to support me on another platform. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you super soon. Bye!